TV. Welcome back, Bears. I'm Bryson reporting from the BTV studio. Today is Monday, April 15th, and this week, Brennan will celebrate Week of the Military Child, beginning with Wear Camo Day. That's today. Tomorrow, wear red, white, and blue. On Wednesday, dress as a superhero. Thursday, wear shiny or bright colors. And on Friday, wear purple. Purple is the sum of all colors of, the, of all the state's military branches. It represents all military-connected students. So let's show our military pride and purple up to support our Brennan High School military students. Juniors, on Wednesday, you'll take the SAT exam. Your room assignment was emailed to you, so check your school email. Be sure to be in your testing room before 9 a.m. with your fully charged Chromebook, and good luck. Also, juniors, as you get ready to enter your senior year, consider recognizing up to three teachers or staff members from your school years. Your tribute will be shared with those who you select. Scan this QR code to make your selection by May 10th. Last week, numerous Bears and Lady Bears track athletes competed in the area meet. The Bears team came out on top as meet champions, and the Lady Bears team finished in second place. Among the first place finishers was Zach Miller in the 3,200 meter and 1,600 meter runs, Wolfgang Thoner in 800 meter run and the 4 by 200 meter relay team. Javen Dalton took first in the triple jump and third in the long jump. Kayla Lyons took first place in the 400 meter dash, the 800 meter run, and the 1,600 meter run. And area champ Gianna Brown smashed the school record for a discus, thro discus throw of 133 feet and 9 inches. BFND to all the track athletes advancing to regionals. Our Lady Bears softball team have now won 11 of their last 12 games, beating Sultamayor 7-1 on Friday. Bree Campo struck out 10 Lady Wildcats to take the win. Share them on tomorrow at Northside Field 1 at 5 p.m. against Holmes. Keep the streak going, ladies. On Friday, our Bears baseball team beat the Warren Warriors 3-0 in the district game with Blake Webb, the winning pitcher. Blake Webb, the winning pitcher. Tomorrow, they face Stevens at Northside Field 2 at 7.30 p.m. BFND Bears. Congrats to Tyra Sotelo and Taylor Ross in the 2024 and the San Antonio Area Association of Basketball Coaches All-Star win. Coached by their very own head coach, Jacqueline Contreras, and Coach Johnson and Coach Griffin. Team Contreras won 66-62 over Team Lopez. Here's a huge shout out to Bears basketball head coach Cody Kogel for being named Texas High School Coach Coaches Association Basketball Coach of the Year for Region 8 6A boys. Way to coach. Seniors, this is a reminder. Have you been accepted to a university, received a scholarship, or been enlisted? If so, go to the school website to submit your acceptance or scan this QR code on this page. Finally, kudos to Isabella De La Cruz for representing BHS Fashion on San Antonio, living for her work, and Spina Bifida, Texas, and the Fashion Able program. She was, on the la she was on the show last Thursday, and she won Best Formal Children's Outfit for Fashion Able 2024. Also this past Saturday, fashion students Jesse Alkire, Liz Lopez, and Amara Titano created both casual and formal outfits for their teen model, Diana, and were finalists this year. Congrats to all of our fashion students. This is all we have for today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, please email Mr. Cerna at fernando.cerna at nisd.net. I'm Bryson, signing off from BTV. Let's keep a positive mindset, stay engaged in our learning, and continue to evolve every day. Remember, to wear your IDs, it's a safety issue. This is a BTV production.